Series 11 is by far the most back to basics season of modern Doctor Who. And when it first came out, immediately after the Moffat era, it was somewhat of a breath of fresh air, but in hindsight, I struggled to come back to this season and era overall, as I kind of find it a bit boring at points. When looking at the Chibnall pen script specifically, I'll give the Ghost Monument and the Finale the credit that they are at least interesting ideas that are let down by the lack of runtime and resources to do them justice, but his three other episodes are some of the most generic concepts, not only for Doctor Who, but basic pop culture. This does give the season a bit more general audience appeal, and I can see why some people less genre savvy and cynical as me would enjoy these episodes, as technically they're not bad, they're just not that creative, and nothing you haven't really seen before from other versions of generic White Corridor spaceship episodes or giant bug B-movie type episodes. Things definitely improve thanks to the guest writers as they bring us the highlights of series 11. Not always good stories but they're a lot more interesting in my opinion. The best definitely being the three historicals, though I do wish they had the courage to maybe make at least one of them a pure historical as with all of them the sci-fi aspects do let it down. And I'd say the same goes for the TARDIS team. While Yaz becomes a more interesting companion later, here she doesn't have that much to do and maybe having a companion from the past and the future would help mix up this team, especially since Graham and Ryan are already covering the present day Earth character drama. And they're easily the highlight of the team. Jodie Whittaker as the Doctor is fine considering how over the top everyone was about her casting but I do feel trying to do the more introverted shy doctor doesn't quite work for a TARDIS team this big and she maybe needed a bit more focus at points. Sometimes the exaggerated characteristics she's given to make her stand out can come off as a bit grating though she does have her fair share of endearing moments. For me, the highlight of Series 11 has to be It Takes You Away. It's the most creative concept, and I feel it has the best emotional moments for our lead characters. And I wish we'd gotten more episodes like this and Demons of the Punjab, which is a close second, as it's capable of greatness, but otherwise I think this season plays it a bit too safe.